Rodgers. Got to talk about A.A. Ron. The Green Bay Packers are offering him a contract that will alter the quarterback market. This makes, it sounds like to me, a Patrick Mahone esthetic type contract in less time. Where mm-hmm. he may be seeing $50 million come his way because the NFL just announced the new salary cap, which will be at $206 million. And the new TV deal is about to kick in. So you know things are going to really inflate. So if you get mm-hmm. him locked in early, you might save yourself some money. So I'm curious to hear from you on this, Jimmy. Okay. Aaron is mulling this deal. Got two questions for you. First one, number first question. Why did it take them this long to give them this offer? And number two, what does this tell us about Jordan Love? All right, first, uh, why did it take them so long to to give him this offer? Because this is the very last thing that they wanted to do in trying to keep him. This was the last car that they had to play. And, you know, part of what he's done in terms of maintaining his leverage is to keep them on their toes, to not really give them a lean one way or the other. So they think they think the answer is money, like a lot of ownership and a lot of professional organizations do. If we give him more and more, more money, then he will lean towards the money in our direction. So I think that actually it's kind of a, a play of desperation. And what, are you, what are you doing? Leaning with it, rocking with it, <laughs> leaning yeah. forward, leaning back. <laughs> yeah. So it's a sense of desperation. Maybe as they read the tea leaves, it's saying that he's inching more and more out of the door. So in order to pull him back as a demonstration of their love and loyalty for him, let us give him this quarterback market altering contract, which to me would be the worst thing they could do because, for one, it's not going to make him want to be there anymore. And two, you're still not going to be successful because if you're going to give him this type of deal, how does that hamstring you in the future in order to be able to keep the right players around him in order to be competitive or around whoever your quarterback is going to Jordan Love? What does it say about Jordan Love? I don't think it says that Jordan Love can't play. It just says that they, for whatever reason, still feel like he's not ready to play, which is probably a worse sign in a sense, but that they already know that Aaron Rodgers is still three to four times the quarterback that Jordan Love is. So I think that that's part of what that says about Jordan Love, because you're right. I see what what you're I see what you're what you're cooking when you ask that question, because if Jordan Love was prepared and ready to go right now, then they would just free themselves of the drama of Aaron Rodgers, trade him, hell, get some picks back, give yourself some salary cap relief, because currently they are more than $27 million over, over the, the cap, cap just nine days before the start of the new league year. So, th- so. and that was my point with that question, is mm-hmm. they had an initial timeline. Their timeline was we draft Jordan Love. Within three years, Aaron Rodgers needs to either lead us to a Super Bowl Irregardless, leaders there are not, we're going to go ahead and move into the future. That's the one thing that Green Bay has always done. They're always prepared for the next. And they go ahead and move forward. Yeah. And they don't mind it. Same thing with Aaron Rodgers when he came into the league where Brett the hitman Favre. They decided <laughs> to move away from Favre knowing mm-hmm. that Aaron was going to take the mantle. That's why they drafted him in the first round. Well, it appears that they're trying to beg him to come back. And Ugh. I don't get that. I don't Ugh. understand why you want him back when you tried to get rid of him before. Of course, you weren't going to trade him. It was one of those, no, we're not getting rid of you. We're not going to take a cap hit for you. Either you give your money mm-hmm. back and then leave, or you play, A or B. Mm-hmm. Now you're offering an opportunity to pay him more money? Why? I'll tell you what it is. Because they're afraid to be single. Because... For the last, going back to the beginning of Brett Favre, what, let's go back almost 30 years ago, they don't know what it's like to be without a top five quarterback in the league. True. So they're afraid to, to let them go, free themselves of the drama. It'll hurt in the beginning. You'll have to rebuild, but in the end, you'll be better for it. They're afraid to do that because they don't believe that they can do better than Aaron Rodgers. And I know he's one of the top five quarterbacks, yes, but ultimately, yes, you can. And you basically, It may take you a while. You confirmed but, it, though. You confirmed it. They don't think Jordan yeah. Love is good enough yet. This is a this mm-hmm. is a, an indictment on their selection of him in the first round. You drafted him that high up. You draft a quarterback in the first round. You play him. 
he is expected to play mm-hmm. within a certain amount of time. So what is the fear? Are you scared that he can't, he's not grasping the playbook good enough? He doesn't have a good enough arm. You don't think he's going to be good in the winter? It's been said before. To me, I get that they may want Aaron Rodgers to stay. If they want mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers to stay and win them a Super Bowl, they need to follow Mina Khan's ex- advice. Mina Khan's with ESPN. She said this. If Green Bay wants to win Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers, they need to build him a dome. Period. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. Cause it because it, it tells yeah. you it tells you something that the problem they have there. When they made that Super Bowl run, um that was all one hundred percent where on the road. They were on the road the entire time. So they weren't playing in these winter mm-hmm. weathers that you get up in Wisconsin where you're throwing a massive brick. And even Bomani had mentioned this before. There's a reason why the University of Minnesota has an outdoor stadium and the Minnesota Vikings have a dome. That's because by the time the season ends, it's before winter actually gets there. And once winter mm-hmm. hits, December 20th, there's no bowl games. There's no games at the University of Minnesota Stadium. There's no bowl games in mm-hmm. Wisconsin. The games are in the south. They're, su- they're more mm-hmm. southern where it's warmer because players throwing around a brick, when that football gets cold. <laughs> now, that's also why, if you notice with Green Bay, when they were, I mean, not Green Bay, New England, when they were playing their playoff games, they had a tendency of not throwing the ball as much. There's a lot more running. And it feels like mm-hmm. it gets colder in Wisconsin than it does in New England or Foxborough. Yeah. So if you want him to win a Super Bowl, can y'all do me a favor and go ahead and build this man a dome? Because every time y'all get this home field advantage, y'all take a lot of early L's. And that's not going to help, especially in January, late January, we're in the peak of winter. You got this dude throwing around this football and breaking people's hands in the cold. It ain't working. Mm-hmm. Figure it mm-hmm. out. So, so since we're you know, since we're coming up on his decision, because he said it was going to be a fairly swift decision, and the new league year starts the sixteenth, so next week, what do you think he's going to choose to do between retirement, asking for a trade, or deciding to come back and accepting this quarterback market altering deal? Well, he's now no longer engaged, and it was because of football. Yep. You know, Miss <laughs> uh, Shalena is not a big football fan. She didn't even know who he was initially. She just knew that she was told, and she was like, cool. Mm-hmm. They spend so much time apart. That's why they broke up the way they did. And if he's going to focus on football, then yeah, may as well go back. You got a winning team. The team is put together nicely. Mm-hmm. They're going to pay you the most mm-hmm. money. Take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. So I can see him coming back even because it seems like they cool now. It seems like everything's all gravy and they're happy. But mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Does it make sense to go back, though? Especially no. with the past. Do, does it make sense for him to actually end up back in Green Bay? I, I don't think it, to, it I don't think it makes sense logically, but I can totally mm-hmm. see him doing it because just why not take their money? Jordan Love's not ready, obviously. And, it's, it's like for them, yeah. again, but it's like for them, and this just shows just how desperate they are. What makes you think you're not, even if he comes back and accepts his contract for this next year and they still don't win the Super Bowl, what makes you think he's not going to put you in the exact same position next year? Because you kind of were in this position last year as well, except he was ghosting you a lot more um, than he is this year. So I don't see how this in any way is a win for Green Bay. They look like and they look desperate. They look weaker. What I think he probably did was he probably insinuated to him that he wanted to leave or was going to ask for a trade. And then that's when they released to the media that they're going to give him or they want to offer him this con- this type of contract. So I think that is better for everyone and for him. And I think that he is going to request a trade in order to move his career elsewhere, see if he can be better and do better in a, another environment. Cause I don't think at this point that it really is about the money for him. I think it's about so many other things in that because his last contract in a sense um, was the, and then we're talking what three, four years ago was the biggest contract at the time for a quarterback that did alter the market for a short period of time. 
before Russell Wilson and several others came after him. So I don't really think it's about the money. I think that, you know, he continues to, in his own way, evolve as a human being and change and that he does need to be somewhere else and experience a different environment, a uh, different aspect of himself. Obviously, the front runner is, is Denver because Nathaniel Hackett is his former offensive coordinator. So that would be somewhat of a seamless transition. And that team is, is they're about maybe one of four or five teams who is ready to go right now, who's a quarterback away from being a really good playoff team. So that's what this Denver team is. And he knows that he's not going to face Green Bay in the playoffs if he leaves, especially if he goes to the AFC. But even if he stayed in the NFC, he knows that Green Bay is not going to be there because they don't have him. So he needs. I think he needs to leave, and I think he will request a trade. Yeah, so if he leaves, that's – so he, he counts this year at $46.1 million against the cap if he leaves it saves them it gets them about 19 to 26 based upon espn's report from Schefter and them yeah so the earlier he makes this decision the more money that green bay saves as well as can can extort from other teams if he decides to go <laughs> teams have already got their 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 compensation packages lined up they're prepared to offer them yeah. the world yeah that's true that's true so yeah, there's no true. real reason for aaron to just drag this out. If you're going to go to a team, do it. No matter what you, what you decide to do, when and where you decide to do it, the package mm-hmm. is not going to change. Teams are going to have, they're going to be extracted a very, a king's bounty to get you. So they're going to be paying out a lot of moolah. And so if you want to end up playing somewhere that you want to play, get her done, baby. Get that bad boy. Done.